thank you very much, Media. My name is Jeffrey Milima, the regional coordinator of the official opposition in Namibia, the Popular Democratic Movement. Um, we are here in Katima Mulilo, in one of the most important suburbs that we call Boma, but this Boma has turned into a bushy suburb. It was one of the important suburbs in this town where majority of the inhabitants were whites. But if you may look around the suburb, it has turned into a rainforest. Council, regional council, has never attended to these areas. Roads are not done. They are just potholes, plunge pools of, uh, of roads. And the, even the buildings that are there, houses, they are also in a dilapidated condition. Some, gov some houses are government houses, unattended to, abandoned. I don't know what is happening. For plus minus 34 to 35 years of independence, we still have these things. I think we are going down. In the early 90s, these areas looked very clean. And these are the way most places that we were fearing when we were still young. You can't come to this area because one, it's clean. You find white, white people and everything was well. But now it is the opposite. We have a number of government houses that are dilapidating, that are not in a good shape. Roads are closing down naturally. It's just bushy and so forth. So it is the work of the town council specifically and the regional management because the street that we are sitting in here where we are doing this interview must be the important street in this town where the governor stays there is the governor's house which is just guarded by uh, security guards for more than 15 years now these security guards has been here guarding a house whereby there are no uh, 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 people staying there so it's an empty house. So this is how government resources are being wasted. But we have people that live in informal sec uh, sectors, whereas, uh, I mean settlement, whereas these people are there without proper housing. Their houses are made out of cardboards, zincs, papers, and other rubbish material. That's how they live there. But we have a number of houses here in Katima Muliro that belongs to government, Ministry of Works, but these houses are not having people living there. They are abandoned. It's a situation that we are facing after independence. Coming to the town generally itself, the town is very dirty, honestly. We live in dirty, in the bushes. Roads are full of sand, potholes everywhere you go. It's like this, can this town, there was a war. We are suffering from, a, like it's a war, it's aftermath of the war. We just have potholes, everything is not in order. But surprisingly, regional office, together with town council, they have patented now to start cleaning up the streets of Katima Muliro just because there is independence that will be hosted in this region. A fellow uh, people from Zambezi and fellow Namibians, this is not how we should do things. The model of doing things is that the council they have laborers that works on the road. These roads must be maintained on a regular basis. Not just when they hear that the president will be here, the whole country will be coming to Zambezi, then they start cleaning up. When these people go back, it means we normalize again. We go back to our own way of living. Water is a challenge in Katima. Unannounced, you don't have water. Council does not even announce that there will be no water. Electricity is also a problem. Time and again, it's on and out, on and out, just like that. Power outage is a problem in Zambezi as well. And I'm quite sure NORED and the, uh, together with NAMO Water and the town council, they are working tirelessly now to make sure that water is not cut. Power is not cut during the independence. Just to impress those that are coming to visit us. But uh, our normal routine is that we can go for days without water. We can go for hours without electricity. Unannounced. Shibata TV presents to you My Retirement Party. 
Are you going towards your retirement? Well, if you are, this is the perfect time for you to tell us about your journey from the day you were born up to today. For more information, please contact us on 081-33-44803 or you can email us on chiwatatvinvest at gmail.com. Just remember, we do it for the people. This is a situation we are suffering here in Zambezi after independence. Now we want to talk generally about the day itself. Yes, we are happy the independence is coming to Katima. It's going to improve and assist us economically because we are going to have a number of people that are going to use our lodge and our guest houses. We are going to raise money. Our people that are working there, that is how, where they feed themselves and so on. So economically, this independence is going to boost the Zambezi uh, region because we are going to receive revenue in a number of ways. There are visitors that are coming from other countries. Those that are coming from other regions, they will bring in revenues to Katima Murilo. Even people that are selling on street at the open market, they will have a very good opportunity to make to make business because there will be a number of people that will be in the region so that's why we are saying economically uh, uh, it's a good way that we welcome the independence in this region because people are going to make revenues out of uh, uh, this, this, this uh, event and the finally uh, in Zambezi we look at the independence like it's just for Swapo I want to pronounce it clear to say the independence of this country, whether you are in exile or you are inside here, we have fought for the liberation movement of this country. We are all involved. But you find here in Zambezi how we do it is a tradition that is only for Swapo members. I want to say it, media I must be on record to say the independence belongs to all of us. Even us, our parents, they fought for this liberation movement. They died for this country. So the tendency that we have in Zambezi to say it's only for SWAPO members, even the organizing committee, does not involve other stakeholders. It's only SWAPO members that are there organizing this independence. So they, they want to personalize it. Independence is for every inhabitant, every citizenry of this country have a, a, a chance to participate fully, either in organizing, in celebrating the independence. It's open to everybody. So we thank those that fought uh, tirelessly to remove colonialism uh, in this country. Now, my name is Mutwa Hongo. I'm a member of the organizing committee in the Zambezi region, and uh, I'm here given a platform to share my views with regard to the independence that will be hosted in the Zambezi region. Uh, to be honest and frank enough, we are not happy as a residents of the Zambezi region due to a lot of contemporary issues that are at hand to pinpoint I uh, would say that our town council has let us down and I extent that many people will not make it to the sports field due to lack of water they be engaged uh, with ready force to be closing water of people and half of the town they are without water and people are very much traumatized with the situation. And all from the grassroots level, from the town council, the regional governor, all stakeholders, they are all away with the situation and nothing is done. Letters, petitions have been sent to the minister, uh, his honorable minister Otoni, about the situation, but nothing seemed to be uh, taken into you know, consideration. To, to our situation. So many people won't make it to our independence because they feel that they are not really liberated because uh, of situation that the Latima Murillo Town Council has been, you know, uh, uh, the issues that are being uh, forecast to the citizens. Uh, I would like to thank you for that platform. Yeah, in terms of development, uh, I'm so happy that uh, a lot of citizens will be coming to Latima Murillo so that they come and see at the grassroots level why we are saying we are not happy. There is nothing that is ha actually happening. 
the government is busy pumping money to town council, regional council in terms of development. But when we look at our infrastructure in terms of roads, there's nothing, poor roads. Even where they'll be hosting the independence. You check, there's no parking area, you know, even water was just recently, you know, open. Shibata TV presents to you my retirement party. Are you going towards your retirement? Well, if you are, this is the perfect time for you to tell us about your journey from the day you were born up to today. For more information, please contact us on 081-33-44803 or you can email us on chiwatatvinvest at gmail.com. Just remember, we do it for the people. And because of the event that is coming, there was no water. When you come to the market, it's dirty. The whole town is dirty. You know, look at the first street, street or road, rather. It's still in the, that shape that the, 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 the whites left it. And the eight town council is busy receiving money, but they are not really, you know, focusing on, on, on development. And the anti-corruption is awake because we have sent letters, petition to anti-corruption to try to investigate what is happening. But there is no you know, solution to, to, to our problem. So people are not happy actually with this independence that is coming here because it's just a, a huge disappointment. We are happy, we are enjoying the fruits of our independence, although we are enjoying them in tears again. Because what the government is providing, like in Zambezi, it is not totally implemented. There is a lot of corruption going on here, looting of money. Both town council, they are stealing money, and also regional council, they are stealing money. So you find the situation that the residents, they have nowhere to run to, to cry for services or even other development. So it is the aspect to say that uh, uh, our institutions are very corrupt, very, very corrupt institutions. So finally, if they see anti-corruption that is working here in Zambezi. I think these people, they must come back and investigate how these things are being done in this town. Because it's like we did not attain our independence. So these services, uh, they are just for certain individuals. Jobs, they are just for certain individuals. So such kind of issues is degrading our region and our town to be in particular. Development-wise, we are not growing. There's no growth in Katima. There's no growth. We need to make even if they have refresher courses or exchange programs that we bring in people from Valvis Bay or Swakop Mundi to come and work in our town council here. Maybe they are going to change. Because for us, I'm seeing that we are failing. With the current leadership that we have, both town council and regional council, we are down to zero. <laughs> Sapete <laughs> Madinki au sevedisa, ha sevezi, ha za maisi mezi. Kwa na kulikuzwa fone wa angezi musika wa batao mkanseo, musweli wa alifa, masherengi. Akuli, mwe, akuli mwendi musika wa luna ukaezu wa renovate. Kwa na musika wa hakuna suwa sevedisa, masherengi elu alifa, aluzivi kwa haya. Kina kuka ufera, matoilet aluna akwaliwa, mezi hakuna matao. Kuzwa pate ni maubona musika wa upazo hile. Any time Musica or Havu Tahari Mungwa, Musica or Nako Napoa, Manako and no signs the government in Musica, no one had a hand. Konobu Dava Town Council was a portion by Musica, who won our affair of Privas, very bashing by Fera Machering, Ingevasa Venice and Kazisi, Fatu and Amoitera in Pendis, Fa Kambe Musica or Nawo, who penned the West Incha, Nava to look at Fa River of Mamma Regini Amamu, Kambe Bab, one of yes. This is kiki kiko apa buat dia independence ruli. Mutari me mutari me region ya luna. Ite zima sira. Zambezi region. Ah, I feel so happy. Currently, I think the town council are busy cleaning our roads. It was very dirty, very very dirty. But now the roads are clean and 
Uh, except those potholes. I hope they'll fix them also. So I'm happy. I'm happy, my dear. Uh, good morning, fellow Namibians. This is Sario Samandala from the Zambezi region. Uh, I'm given a platform this morning to share my views with my fellow Namibians. I just want to call upon uh, the general public of Zambezi region to stand up. They should stand up and engage with our leaders since they are coming to this region so that they can come and help us. We are crying. We have tried to engage with our local leaders, the Katima Murilo Town Council, the Regional Council, even Swapo's office, we have tried. There is no office, there is no stakeholder that we have not went to in connection of Red Force. We We don't have water. Our people are traveling long distances from Kaboy, Choto, Dairy to go to the Zambezi River to get water. We have tried our level best to engage with the Honorable Minister of Rural for him to intervene in our case. We were not consulted on the issue of Red Force. So we as the residents of Zambezi region, we are not happy. We want Red Force to go with immediate effect. Because you don't expect us as residents to go to the sports complex while we are thirsty. My leaders, we are thirsty and we are hungry. How do you want us to go and celebrate independence while we don't have water? We request our minister and the president of this country to come forth and assist the residents of this town because we are hungry, we are thirsty, we are not happy. Even this uh, independence celebration, we are happy that it's coming here for them to see things with their own two eyes. People in town are suffering. We are suffering, we the masses are crying. The only people who are living large life are those people in high offices within the region. What about us, the vulnerable? What about us who are in unemployed? Where do you take us? We are the voters. We are the masses on the ground. And we are the people who are busy day and night voting in this country. So we call upon our leaders, His Excellency, the President of this country, the Minister of Rural, please come to our aid. Come and assist us. Please, we plead with you to come and assist us. Thank you very much. Shibata TV presents to you my retirement party. Are you going towards your retirement? Well, if you are, this is the perfect time for you to tell us about your journey from the day you were born up to today. For more information, please contact us on 081-33-44803 or you can email us on chiwatatvinvest at gmail.com. Just remember, we do it for the people. Uh, thank you very much. I think it's, uh, it's, the, it's my pleasure. Uh, we are very happy that uh, this year the independence to be celebrated in our region, Zambia's region. I think it will be the sports complex. So uh, I think it's uh, an opportunity for the people of Zambezi, since the president is also coming, so he can see how the region is in terms of development and all that, the infrastructure, like roads and all that. But uh, also at the same hand, I think the independence also is it's going to affect us in another way because those people who will be coming, they will have to come, you know, later the, the town, those they are not from the region, so they don't have that uh, that feeling that if they throw away rubbish and all that, the, 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 the town is going to be dirty and all that. So I think the, the, the government or those who decided to come host the independence in Zambezi region, they did a great job. So I just hope that those who are in a, a organize, organizing the independence should come make a president Angolo Mbumba to 
department, move around the town so you can see how the town is, how the roads are, and all that.